everybody, welcome back to RAF and RAF Reviews with John Lynch here, and today is something a little bit different, <laughs> because uh, we're going to talk about New Mutants, the catches that only one of us has seen it, um, so John was able to catch it today, and I haven't gone to see it yet, and quite honestly, I don't know when I'm going to go see it, um, but I still wanted to get something out to you guys, and so kind of going to ask John about the movie and we'll go from there and see how this works. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, so, uh, so like I said, I haven't seen the movie, so, um, keeping with our format, John, what is the rating that you give this one? Um, I'm going to give this movie a B minus. Um, and it's pr I'm probably being a little kind with it just because a, I haven't seen a movie in theaters in months and B I've been a fan of the new mutants since 1982 when the first, uh, TPV, the trade paperback, came out uh, when Marvel was trying out these, these pushing these new comic book uh, ideas into straight into graphic novel format, and that's how they did that. And then in, it was so popular in 1983 they gave it a comic book, like a series. And it's what ten and, years, and ten years later you get Deadpool from it. So you get you, you, you get uh, Cable and you get Deadpool and you get all a bunch of other good characters from it. So this is this is yeah. where this is um, New Mutants 97, 98, 99, 100 is the run of Cable Deadpool um, by Rob Liefeld. So if you if you're a Deadpool fan, then you, you owe some love to New Mutants because that's where Deadpool came from. But um, I, I like I like the movie. Um, I just had a I had a few problems. Let me just say this right off the bat. If you want to know what it feels like watching this movie, it feels like you're watching a remake of Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warriors. Okay. Because it all takes place in one hospital grounds, right? So there's only... The, the cast is like six or seven people total. Really? Like, that's it. That's the entire huh. cast. Other than some background people and some flashbacks and stuff. But so, so, so before we, before you continue, let's, let's, this movie has been in limbo for what, two years now? It's so Almost. funny to use, word, use the word limbo. I'll, I'll tell you why in a minute. Yeah. So, right. It's been kind of out in limbo for about two years, right? Because it happened, the movie was, was, was made. And then what was it? Was it, um, yeah, I think it's three uh, years now. I think it's three years. It's somewhere like two or three years, right? Because it, it came out and then, uh, what was it? The, the, the X-Men Phoenix, uh, mm -hmm. the, that movie bombed tremendously. Yep. And they had, they, they, then they re then they went back and did some reshoots to try and make this movie better. So they changed the, the release date. Um, then they, they, they did the reshoots, and then the whole Fox Disney uh, thing started happening. So the movie just kind of uh, stayed still for a second, and Fox didn't know what they were going to do with it. And today I was reading that apparently Fox had also uh, considered um, just shelving the movie entirely and not even uh, releasing it. So when the merger happened, that, then not, they couldn't release anything. So then that just sat there for a second, too, until Disney finally got... Uh, finally got control of all those products and then rumor there was massive rumors flying around that it was going to go to Disney Plus and then Disney decided they were going to release it and then COVID happened and then it got pushed back again and it was like everything that could possibly go wrong for a movie went wrong for this movie. Well, Macy um, Williams, Arya Stark, was asked in an interview like a year ago. She, they, she was like, they were like, when is, when is New Mutants coming out? And she goes, I don't know. I don't know if it's ever coming out. <laughs> it's like, she, she's like, I worked on that so long ago. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it, it, it's, 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 it, I, I almost feel bad for it because so much went wrong for this movie that shouldn't, shouldn't really have like, you know, there's a lot of times that you can blame actors and directors and producers and all this stuff for shit that happens. But ultimately so much happened with this movie that was completely out of their control that they were just, they they just had no choice but to kind of say, I don't know what's going on right now. So, you know, whatever. And originally this was supposed to tie in into the Fox's, uh, this, Fox's X-Men universe as they, well. They, they, that stuff's all tied in. In this movie, it, it talks about the X-Men. They talk about, they've actually got footage from the Logan movie in this movie. 
they, they talk about Essex Corporation, which is which is a direct tie to Mr. Sinister. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So they had obviously plans set in motion for Mr. Sinister. And the the footage they used from Logan was the scene in the hospitals where um, X-23 es escaped. Or from, they got all the kids. Where they got all the kids, right? Yeah. So they got, they got footage like directly from there. And in the, when the credits roll, they had to give credit to um, Fox Corporation in the in the credits legally Just technically yeah, yeah yeah but they said barring footage from logan so i mean i saw it right off and then yeah they talk about the existence of the x-man and i don't want I'll, I'll get into spoilers in a minute so we can warn people but this movie feels like you're watching the breakfast club for like the first 30 35 minutes right you're watching so you, you get the intro you get the danny backstory and then it goes straight into they're all in the hospital and from that moment on, the in, the only scenes that take place that are not in the hospital are flashback scenes. Okay, um, and it's really uh, like these teenagers, these coming of age, um, like finding their sexuality, like mm -hmm. flirting, being mean to each other, like you know, uh, Sunspot, Roberto, and DaCosta, and um, Sam Guthrie, um, Cannonball become like good friends because they're like besties in the comic books and rain who is wolfbane aka Arya stark um Maisie williams and danny moonstar uh who is mirage in the comic books um they're like super besties in the comic books because and this is like it's it's almost cringeworthy when you think about it but um D mirage has the powers to create your your greatest fears or yeah. your greatest um, desires. She later on she she learns how to do both. And she's got all these other kind of weird powers as well. Like she can communicate. Like she can she's empathic with animals and stuff because she's American Indian, uh, and they would obviously have that for some strange reason. But so because Wolfsbane is part wolf, like mm -hmm. she's empathic with Wolfbane, so they be instantly become good friends. Um. So, so, so it's it's like this uh, coming of age, like us against the the you know our our handler, like the teachers are constantly putting us in timeout, and you know we're having to do these group therapy things, and it's um it's got this it's got this it's got that Breakfast Club kind of kind of movie feel to it. Yeah. Then, and I'm not gonna get spoilers yet, but then you got the twist, the horror twist that starts happening. Like everything's good, things are going well. You trust the you trust the head. She's super nice, um, and then then things start turning darker and darker, and you're seeing things, and things are moving out of the corner of your eyes, and it's got that that uh, that plot um, that thriller plot going on, right? Yeah, and um, then it gets real, real dark, and then finally. You start seeing some of their powers. Um, they start using them more and more, and they're talking about powers the whole time because they're there under the auspice of being trained to use their powers so they don't hurt each other or hurt hurt people, innocent people, or themselves. Yeah, right. So, like, like Cannonball like ties himself to the ground, like to, to this weight, and like tr flies around like in a big circle, uh, and like they're they've all got this real dark twist to their backstories now. Like they're all they've all killed people. They've all like had problems, and um, and then it goes from there, man. And then they all they all have to you know eventually band together and work as a team in order to overcome the bad guys. Um, yeah. and, and that's they, you know it, the movie was uh, when it was. I remember when it was in production and the. Uh, a lot of, and again this is a long long time ago because it's been it's been it's been completed for quite some time now uh when the director and and a lot of the actors were saying that it was going to be the first um superhero horror movie um and the and the director even mentioned uh how he got influence from nightmare on elm street 3 uh dream warriors because it, it kind of plain as day yeah it's reminiscent to the same the same um uh, plot, you know, they got all these kids, and they're trapped, and they're in this asylum slash hospital, whatever you want to call it, and you know they have to 
come together, band together to battle whatever it is. And hence, you know, Freddy in Nightmare on Elm Street and this one. Demon, I don't know Demon Bear. It's Demon Bear. You see him in the in the uh you see him in the in the uh commercials. In the trailers. Yeah, the trailers. Yeah. They they showed a lot of stuff in those trailers, man. I mean Well, they didn't know what they were gonna do with the movie, so they kept <laughs> <laughs> really they kept making trailer new trailers. Trailer trailer. Yeah, trailer. three years of trailers. Yeah. You piece them all yeah. together, you got to watch at least thirty percent of this movie. It, yeah, you get Quibi is what you get. If you do that, you get Quibi. <laughs> um, here's a, so okay. So if you don't want any any spoilers at all, I, I don't want to spoil it for Rafi too much either. But um, so the original the original new movies in the comic book didn't include magic. Magic wasn't in the original cast. Uh, it did include um, a girl called Karma, um, and she was pretty cool. Um, she could get in, she can get inside people's heads and mess with them and stuff. Um, but they the the team jailed really fast, and that's why it caught on. That's why the comic book caught on because the right Chris Claremont wrote wrote the New Mutants. Um, McLeod, I can't remember his first name. He was the artist, and they were super. They were a super good team. They were very dynamic at the time. Um, and they kind of they kind of made Marvel a lot of money with these comic books because um, at, the, at the time at that time Chris Claremont could do no wrong. Chris Claremont wrote dang near everything that was worth reading. Chris Claremont is what made Captain Marvel worth a darn. Chris Claremont is what made the X Men all the good X Men stories are all Chris Claremont. Um, he was like the nineteen late ni- late seventies nineteen eighties nineteen nineties. Stan Lee for Marvel. Yeah. Like they just rode that horse as long as they could. And like if Chris, if, if and, and, I, and there's some contention about whether Chris had as much power as everybody thinks, but it, I mean, for sure what happened is Chris for sure got mad that um, Captain Marvel was written so poorly when he, cause he originally came up with the Captain Marvel story, the Miss Marvel. And then he handed it off or he, he started writing X-Men. He started writing all this other stuff. Um, wrote some of the, the Avengers annuals and stuff, and some other st- Avengers stuff. Um, and then he got, he got handled so poorly. I can't remember the guy who wrote it, but he did such a terrible job. He's the one that did the whole the whole rape <laughs> thing went down and that stuff. And Chris Claremont, I mean, like Chris Claremont was livid that his character got treated like that. So he demanded the storyline back. That's when Captain Marvel started showing up in X Men because Chris Claremont was writing X Men. That's how Miss Marvel went from being pretty strong and pretty tough to binary, which yeah. binary is actually even more powerful than the current Captain Marvel and the one you see in the movies. Binary was crazy powerful. She was like, she would have thumped Thanos in his, on his ass. Like, binary was insane. So eventually they were like, we can't write her in any books because she's way too powerful. So they had to, it's like, it's like putting <laughs> Phoenix, Dark Phoenix in every book. Like yeah, yeah. Okay, Dark Phoenix showed up. Everybody's gonna die. Like, you know, you can't do that. So, but like, so Chris Claremont. I, I say all that to say that Chris Claremont is worth reading, and his original storyline. If 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 Kevin Feige decides to do something with New Mutants and do and take some of those stories, some of those stories are really worth doing. It's hard to say because um, we like they have like you kind of see the direction that they're going right now, um, and he really is picking stories carefully. At least in my opinion, anyways, whatever they're working on, they're they're piecing it together very carefully, and they're they're not getting the big powerful uh, heroes that you would expect because right now they have everything in the MCU, with the exception of Spider Man on 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 uh, is on full control. They've gotten everything back. Yeah. So, and they're still very, they're being very, very careful. I mean, we're getting an Eternals movie. We're getting. They just uh, changed the name the, from The Eternals to Eternals. To just <laughs> Eternals. Yeah. I saw that. Um, what's the other one? We're getting uh, Nova. Yeah. Uh, Nova. Um, uh, what was it? The Asian one. Uh, what's his name? Oh, the Swordmaster. Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi. Yep. Yep. So we're getting that. So we're getting a very, and I want to say obscure. Uh, characters that you know your average person really doesn't know, right? Because well, you can yeah, they're doing Blade, Iron Man, Ball, Ball. They're doing Blade yeah. too. 
Yeah, got Blades coming back, um, which I'm high, I'm very excited for that one because I like uh, Mahershala Ali a lot. So I'm very I really want to see what he does oh, with the. Uh, he was phenomenal uh, in, in Power Man, uh, Luke Cage. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I want to see what he does um, uh, in it, with uh, with the Blade, but they're picking all these uh, lesser known characters and they're bringing them to the forefront, and I don't know what the plan is for X-Men yet. <laughs> yeah. Because you know you know it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. That is a that, if you do X-Men right, if you do Fantastic Four right, those are cash cows, man. Like even the bad ones for Fox still made money. I mean, well yeah, I mean they still they were terrible movies and they still made money. Like everything that Fox did with the exception of probably um, Phoenix, Dark, Dark Phoenix the last yeah. one. Yeah. Uh, made them money. They just didn't know how to bring it all together, which is kind of sad because when they did uh, X Men: Days of Future Past, it kind of seemed like they were on the right track. Oh, I love Days and, of Future Past. Yeah, I love Days of Future Past, um, and you know, and, and First Class was really good, also. You know, but then after that, it just kind of it, it, it just dissolved itself, um, and it looks like that was the kind of the history of Fox. They can get maybe one or two movies good. But they couldn't keep it going. They didn't know how to maintain it. And meanwhile, Marvel's on twenty-something movies still, and just pumping <laughs> and it's out, still going, just pumping out killers, and it's and it's still going. And not to mention that we still, you know, you have all the series that are about to come out as well, which are also going to tie in to yep. theatrical releases later on down the line. Um, and I'm excited for every last one of these shows that's that's fixing to come out. You know, from Winter Soldier and Falcon, Wanda, and WandaVision. Keith, WandaVision, like all of these shows that they have uh, that, uh, that are uh, projected to come out soon, um, they all look amazing. You know, and I say all of this because you have all these studios that had these things, had these properties, they had no idea what to do with them. Yep, no idea. No, absolutely no idea what to do with these products. And you hand them over to, to Feige, and he makes millions. Feige and, and he, uh, his partner, John Favreau. Yeah. You know, and, um, you know, it, it, and he's just going to keep on doing it. He's going to keep on doing it. He keeps on picking the characters and the storylines carefully and adapting them carefully to make sure that they, that they are something new, but they still honor the comics in the right way. And, you know, it, it, it really is amazing to see that and again fox just couldn't do it you get stories like new mutants you get stories like the like they, they gave they, they gave they tried phoenix twice and they couldn't do it they couldn't nail it it's well, crazy and it, they, they kept they kept jumping around with the story they kept jumping around the timelines they kept jumping around with the age of, of uh, xavier like it was kind of messed up like how they kept it didn't make messing sense. that up it, it didn't make that 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 made absolutely no sense at all. I'll tell you um, one thing they did well is Quicksilver. Quicksilver in Fox is way better than Quicksilver in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah, I'm not going to argue that one. Um, but and then of course you know they they try to milk that one too. So milk it. <laughs> they did the, I liked it. Yeah, they, they did the same gag the second time around too. It was like yeah, we saw this gag already. Thanks though. Cool. You know. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah. that's about it, man. Uh, I don't want to give too many spoilers because I hope people go see it. Um, it's 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 not, it's not a it's not an amazing movie. It's better than a lot of the X Men movies. I'll go ahead and say that. Um, if you di- if you didn't enjoy Dream Warrior, you're probably not going to enjoy this movie. Um, uh, well, yeah. it's it's got that it's got that feel to it. It's got that, but it's updated. And the the CG is excellent. The CG for all their powers yeah. and. All that stuff is excellent. Uh, there's some surprises um, that they threw in there. There's a lot of name dropping going on. A lot of like, there's there's kind of a, a few little uh, like scene steal things that they didn't show in the previews and the trailers that are worth yeah. seeing. Um, some real some hard some diehard New Mutant fans will pick up on it real fast, and even other people enjoyed it. Well, that's good. I mean, at least you know. It, it, it... I, I, I think I'll enjoy it because it's the fact of it'll be the last X-Men movie from the Fox universe um, to kind of wrap that up. And, and now whatever we'll get moving forward is, is going to 
belong to the MCU. So, yeah, you know, it, it may not be the best farewell, but still one. So you know what I mean? It's it, it, it's a it's a good send off. I think I think it was a good send off. Yeah. It, it could have been better. It could have been a much better storyline. Um, they they delved in. They 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 changed some stuff. They made um, two characters gay that aren't gay in the comic books. It didn't detract from it. It didn't add to it, but it was just like, okay. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, you guys are all on the verge of being killed, so I guess there's time to hang around and make out. Why not? <laughs> whatever. Yeah, I was like, whatever, okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't understand some of those choices sometimes, but whatever. Um, um they they the 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 doctor in it, she's black in the comic books and she's like I don't know, what I don't know what she is, like what her what her nationality is in the movie. But I don't get why they didn't just make her black in the movie as well. Um, it worked in the comics. I don't get why they make some of these decisions. I don't understand it. The actresses were I don't fine. Know, man. Um, like there's certain there's certain roles and there's certain characters that when you when you you know when you when you play with the ethnicity portion of it, it maybe adds something to it. Maybe it doesn't. In some cases, the actress did a good cases, job in playing. In some cases, it's irrelevant. In yeah. some cases, the race is irrelevant. You know, so Doctor Reyes in the yeah. comic books is black, and Doctor Reyes in here wasn't. But it didn't it didn't detract from it because Reyes is not a super big character unless you're unless, unless you only read New Mutants. She shows yeah. up. She's she's a she's a um, <laughs> spoiler alert. Turn this off. You don't want to see it. Here's spoiler. She's a she's a, a bad guy. She works with Mister Sinister and a few other people, um, Hellfire Club and stuff like that. But yeah, um, and she's super powerful. But I don't. It it it, it could have honored the storyline better and just gone with a black actress. I thought, but whatever. It is what it is, I guess. There's, I mean, there's only, there's seriously only like seven people in this movie. Like, it's, it's like seven people. Like that, that's it. That's it. So do do we know when it's gonna hit Disney Plus? Have they? they I, I can't remember if they <laughs> if they announced that or not. And they haven't said it. It would be, it would be maybe a, next week. It would be a nail in their coffin to the coffin of ticket sales if they did do that. So I can see why they wouldn't announce it. Um, you wouldn't want to. Oh. You wouldn't want to announce it. I'll tell you this though, man. Sitting in a movie theater. Watching a movie felt good. But they also showed a lot of previews for movies that I hadn't seen previews for before. I saw a new preview for The King Man. Have you seen the new preview for The King Man? The, which oh, is yeah. like the origin story? Yeah, yeah. There's, there's a good a there's, it, yeah. there's a good prequel uh, trailer they released I hadn't seen yet on there. Uh, they showed um, Greenland again. Same trailer I saw before. Um, the one about the, the end of the world, you know, comments hitting the earth stuff. Yeah. Um, and a few other and a few other movies. Um, but it was good. Tenet, of course. They showed that Tenet trailer. Um, yep. But it was nice. It was nice to sit in the theater and, and see a movie again. So that was good. That was nice. That was a good feeling. It was almost completely empty. Um, I'm sure. I'm you know. sure. I mean, it, it, it'll probably hit. I, I'm, I'm guessing here. I'm guessing. It'll probably be at, at Disney Plus within a month. Because the way ticket sales are going to do, it's just... There, it's, there's it's a lot of movies work. coming out, man. Like they showed a lot of movies that are coming out in theaters. They're like se- September eighth, September third, September seventeenth. It was like all like boom, boom, boom. There was a couple. There was like a couple of movies that were like November. Like oh, there was a horror movie that comes out at like um, Halloween. Um, I think I saw the trailer for it. And I posted it earlier. It's, it's about like, a little boy that yeah uh, that uh, yep. the little alien yep. the alien thing is. Like wants to be his friend or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But I, t- I told my friend it looked like uh, ET or ET remake with a horror <laughs> twist. To it. <laughs> anyway, so Elliot. Um, so there you have. It. I mean, there you have it, guys. Uh, New Mutants. Um, John gave it a B minus. I have yet to see it. I will see it eventually. Um, you know, but uh, probably when it gets to Disney Plus with by the end of the week. <laughs> <laughs> and remember that B minus is also very kind. I'm being very kind in this movie because it's the last Fox movie, the first movie I see it in theaters, and I'm a massive New Mutants fan. So, hmm. all right. Well, as usual, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>